Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Adventure Island 2, and we last left off, I was halfway through a cutscene. The main villain has finally entered the stage! It appears he was the one who was controlling the bird, and he wants Tina! Probably because he wants her to marry him, because that's what all evil villains want. But it doesn't matter. We need to take out this main villain! But first, we need to finish listening to his speech. So, where's that pause button? Pause. Higgins, you fool! You have yet to see the true powers that I hold. I have abducted your king, and I will soon control Waku Waku Island. What? You fiend! You kidnapped the king? Okay, um, I was using my epic voice for the villain, so I gotta change it for Higgins now. I already have, and I'm not through yet. Yes, I've got the queen, too. All her love and beauty will be mine. Yeah, he does want her to marry him. Yeah, dang it. You will have to face me if you want them to live. Hey, wait! Tina! And where does that put us? Right out front, in the main castle. Master Higgins, the king has been kidnapped by a beastly fiend. Talk faster. They flew over the top of Fua Fua Island. Legend tells of a room on top of Fua Fua that leads to the sky. But who believes in legends anymore? Rumor has it, there is a sky bell which will lead its master to the skies. Take it from me, I read it in the Inquirer. That's a real trustworthy source of information right there. But way to tell us exactly what to do. You're not gonna even you're not even gonna let us mess around for a little while and figure it out. But yeah, you know that top room that I went in last time? That looked like a ball store but nothing was in? Yeah, that's where the last boss is. All that's left in the game is to defeat that boss. But I have something else to take care of at the moment. Because, if you recall me mentioning very early on, the casino in this game plays a very, very important role. That role being letting you make a crazy amount of money. On top of that, it lets you buy really unique items. Like the legendary armor and shield and sword. Welcome to Curly's Casino Island! Let the good times roll! Exchange is more or less buy. I have 18,000... Yeah, I have 18,000 coins. Nifty. On deposit, how much would you like to take out? I would like to buy... That's that life bottle I mentioned before. Let's get that life bottle. It'll cost 1,400 coins, okay? Yes. Thanks for your time. Now I have 16,000 coins. How much do I want to take out? What else can I buy? I got the life bottle. If I choose life bottle again, they'll just tell me I'm at, they're out. Let's go with boomerang. It'll cost 14,000 coins. Do I have that much? Yes. Thanks for your time. Now I have next to no money left. Um, I don't want to take anything out. Can you help me out with anything? No. Thank you, sir. We hope to see you again. So there, two items, and all the money I got in the entire game is now gone. But I got the boomerang! Returning punishment! I don't know, that doesn't look all that special. However, there's still the legendary equipment to get. Welcome to Curly's Casino Island! You've already said that once already. Exchange! Now, if you see how much money these are, this is why you need a casino. The light shield. Well, the light shield isn't all that bad, just 10,000. Not that I have anywhere near that much money. The light armor, on the other hand, is... how much is it? 30,000 for the light armor. Nice. So that's 40,000 total, plus the sword. The sword is going to be... 
50,000 coins. So, 90,000 coins to buy the entire light armor set. That's why you need... Oh wait, I didn't want to hit a button. Yeah. 90,000 coins for the entire light armor set. That's why you need a casino. And I'm not going to sit here and win 90,000 coins in this casino for everybody. Because it's going to take forever and I'm horrible at betting. But I will, if nothing else, show you the games. So, save. Flash and cash. Um, sure, let's take a look at this one. What is it? Okay, this one. Now, you see what happens here is I can put money on these different colors. Like, you see that t blinking 20 in the middle that's a white block. So I can put up to 99 coins on that white block. Now, when I hit start, this thing flies around. If it lands on that white block, I get 20 times what I bet. So that would be 20 times 99. Or 20 times 100, which would be, what, 2,000? So, only 2,000 coins for all that horror. I get as lucky as you can get 2,000 coins. So that's not much. So let's try Run for Dough. How about this one? Now, this one works kind of like that last one. I can bet on one of the characters. Say I want to bet on number three there. Well, let's try betting on number two. I can bet up to 99. And if I win, I get 99 plus um, 9.7. So that's kind of nifty. That'd be 100 times 10, maybe a thousand coins left if I win this one. This is probably the most reliable source of income out of all of these. Hit start, watch them all run! Okay, Snake Boy's in the lead. Go on, come on, Snake Boy! Come on, Snake Boy! Win me some money! Come on, can't you run any faster than that? Ah, oh, where'd you come from? little piece of crap. Okay, and then there's that one. Finally, Moneymaker. Moneymaker is essentially a slot machine. I can push up and down to bet on lines. Bet two lines, bet three lines. If you want to bet on all the lines, then the game starts automatically. So there, betting all lines, game starts automatically. Now, I can stop them by hitting a button. I hit stop, stop the first one. Now, if I get three sevens across everything, then I get... I, I'm not sure if that's 30,000 coins or what. But then stop the second one, stop the third one. And I don't think I won anything. Oh, hey, no! 200 coins! So I got 200 coins back! Nifty. So this is probably the be best place to make money. Three of these, three lucky sevens, and you got all the money you need. Oh, I want to start. Ah, uh, bet all lines again. Stop, stop, stop! Do I lose any money if I lose? Yeah. Oh, 58, 57. Okay, so one coin to bet on an extra line. So it's like three coins total. And if you get horrendously lucky, three sevens, three wins, getting that lucky, you've got all the money in the world. Ah, uh, don't care anymore. Well, so that's essentially where you go. From here, you get to spend your, you get to spend the next three years of your life sitting here making money. Because that's what you're going to need to do. Hey there, kitty, what's up? I'm a little busy, kitty. Come back later. So, yeah, you get to spend the next three years of your life here trying to make money. Um, not much I can say about it. I don't know many strategies. I'm a horrible better. And I haven't been able to beat this boss without all the uh, light armor and crap. So, until next time, everybody. I'll try and make some money. Take care.